Therapy Sessions at AOL. So why did I name my record Love Angel Music Baby? On all the records I've ever done, it's it's um it's always the last thing that comes a title for me. The very last person I went into the studio with was um, Pharrell um, from the Neptunes, and I wanted to do a song called Love Angel Music Baby, just because it's kind of like just the vibe of everything right now for me. And um, it, all of a sudden it was just right there under my nose. Oh my God, that's the name of the record. And, Duh, why didn't I think about that earlier? And then it was just the name. Not working with No Doubt, <laughs> it's very different. You know, 17, almost 18 years with, um, with those guys. They're my best friends. We decided that we were gonna take a year off and there was like this whole list of things that I wanted to do. So I wanted to do a dance record and I, um, I wanted to work with new people because I think it's really important to put yourself in uncomfortable, like horrifying situations to learn how to grow. So working with out the band's been really difficult, and um, because they're my little comfort and I'm used to them and I know how to do that. But to go in the studio with Dr. Dre or with Andre 3000 or any of the people that I went in the studio with on this record's been a huge challenge and like um, you know really helped me to kind of like learn how they do it and try something different. When I got off the Rocksteady tour and I wanted to do this record, but I also wanted to sleep really bad. <laughs> but the record company, of course, was like, we're ready to go. Linda Perry's ready. She's in the studio waiting for you. And I'm like, first of all, I'm sleeping right now. I was really reluctant to go in, but they were like, well, she only has five days to work. So I cried, literally cried in my bed because I was like scared, you know, I never worked with a woman before. And I went in the studio and I got there and she was just so incredible. And to watch her um, be able to run the board, play all these instruments, um, she just has such an amazing personality. She basically pressed play and was like, what you waiting for? <laughs> you know, she had, she had this, what you waiting for it was like almost like a dare and it just triggered it it was like and i just i don't know the song came out it was just everything i was feeling about doing the record and um it was where i found my inspiration really working with andre andre 3000 was definitely one of the guys that was you know, top of the list of the people that I wanted to work with. His star is sparkling so bright right now, and he's just the one guy out there doing something that's totally original. If I were a man, I would want to be him. It's not only just going with a writer, it's like going in with a, an artist, and I was drowning in his creativity. I mean, the guy fills the room up, even though he's like the nicest, nicest sweetest, tries to make you feel good kind of guy. I have a lot of my little insecurities <laughs> that you would have, you know? But it's really weird because by the end of the whole thing, we kind of felt like, you know, we looked at each other in the eyes and it kind of felt like, oh my God, we're in a band together. Like we had these little babies that we, we kind of made and he was really driving the car and I was just in the seat going, oh man, I hope I can think of something. <laughs> I hope I can think of something. If I could collaborate with anyone right now, um, wow. I would love to, um, I'd love to see what it'd be like to work with David Bowie or um, Robert Smith or Judy Andrews. <laughs> the thing is, is, I'm so spoiled. I got to work with so many people just on this run alone. I don't even know if I could do another person right now. You know, I feel really beaten up. My ego's all over there going, ow, <laughs> you know? Because when you're collaborating, there's something really magical about it because it's the power of two. Lyrically, it was really hard for me to like kind of be open to that. David Bowie, I think he's really good at that, where he um, he makes up, up stuff, you know, it's not necessarily coming right from his life. To be a creative writer was a, kind of something I wanted to try to experience on this record, and having themes and like, um, not just having to write about whatever happened to me that day. Every good girl, but I'm looking at you, girls, you're so original, girls, you got the look that makes you... I had heard that there, they were doing a film 
about Howard Hughes and that there was this part for Gene Harlow. And then I got the script in my house and they said that they wanted to try out for Gene Harlow and I couldn't, you know, my, my stomach was on the floor. I mean, are you kidding me? Mark Scorsese, Leonardo DiCaprio, you know. So I'm looking for my part <laughs> and I couldn't find it. And it was like one page, one line. I was like, wow, well, okay, pressure's off. You know, yeah, duh, I'm going to try out. So anyways, I got the part and the week before I was going to go to Montreal to film because I just... I had never done it before, and it was at such a high level, you know, and I got there, and Leonardo, and John C. Riley, and everybody was just so welcoming, and really tried to prepare me for what it was going to be like, and when I got on the set, it was very much like things I'd done before, and um, my, my scene is walking down the red carpet, so I had experience with that, so... <laughs> Now we're going to put you on the spot. Morning or night? Night. Driver or passenger? Driver. Stones or beetles? Beetles. Alley or London? See, I feel bad. <laughs> um, ooh, now that's controversial, and I will not answer that question. Couture or sweats? Couture sweats.